Hi guys, Lisa KP Quilting Studio back with this quilt that uh, I did some uh, videotaping on yesterday just showing dealing with uh, additional fabric extra fabric and I just watched the video and I didn't find you could really see the quilting very well so I thought I'd do another one on the green and see if that was a little easier to see so I'm back with my pop cans again uh, so we're looking at this green section right here and we do have a little extra fabric to try to deal with there and I should probably say too that this quilt is beautifully pieced and it's beautifully put together it's not a problem uh, with poor piecing or poor design or anything like that the the piecer did a lovely job it's just the nature of the quilt um, when you look at this quilt it's in um, uh, foundation paper pieced and you can see that the blocks are radiating out from the center of the quilt so we have center medallion and then all the blocks radiate out and so that makes for bias going in all different directions and it makes for a very stretchy quilt um, so I, you know I just want to make it clear it's not a problem with the person who made the quilt top or the actual design of this quilt it's just the nature of the beast and when you get a quilt like this um, as a as a long armor you know that there's going to be some challenging spots on it and that's okay you just you're prepared for it so and quite frankly i kind of enjoy the challenge a little bit too so that's just me um so anyway just wanted to put that out there because i didn't want anybody to think that this was a bad job on the part of the person who designed this quilt or who pieced this quilt all right so having said all that let's get going on this right here so i'm doing a free motion design in these trees that includes loops and leaves and it's another design that i can make quite dense and take up ad additional fabric that way um, and i'm going to use my pop cans just to keep a little bit of tension uh, on either side and then i'll be able to hopefully manipulate this a little bit as well with my hands to uh, take up whatever else I can. All right, so we'll start up here where it's pretty flat and we'll just get our cans there. I hope we can see okay. Should be okay. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so as you can see, that first one didn't really go so well <laughs> to take it out. So we're gonna try a different strategy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna baste first and then quilt. Uh, and I'm gonna actually go from the worst part to the best part, as opposed to going from up here, the best part down to the worst part, um, cause that did not work well at all. So we're gonna try a different strategy. And that's part of this whole process is just working your way through the problems and solving them as you go and that's how we learn all right so I've already started to baste I've just put my machine down on four stitches per inch so they're about quarter inch uh, long stitches and I'm just gonna work on basting that down so it's a little bit more stable I'm gonna put my can pop cans on again and uh, here we go that up again we're keeping pressure 
on that. Oh, we did get a crease there, so we're going to stop and take that out. Pop that out, and we'll try that one again. That's the nice thing about basting, it's easy to take it out. that one out too. Take that one out too. Let's see if we can get that tightened up a little bit there. All right. Go some more. Now this is our problem area right here. So what I'm going to do is kind of split the difference here and start here. That's not a crease, we can work with that. So we'll try and move this around. Get as much of that tightened up as we can. Up there is fine. So this is just our one little problem spot right there. And as long as we don't put a crease into it, we should be okay. So that's basted. So we got one little spot here we have to be careful. But at least what that does is it it redistributes that fabric a little bit more evenly across the area that we need to quilt. So we're gonna go up to 10 and we'll quilt this and then we'll have to go back and take the basting out, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's okay. It's just all what we need to do to make this work. And once we get this spot done, the rest of the quilt is fine. So it's really just this one little spot that we have to really work hard on. All right, here we go. And we're doing a design that I like to call loops and leaves. And it's another fairly dense design that will help take up. And I'm at a bobbin. All right, stand by. All right, okay, we've got a new bobbin, so we'll keep going here. I'm kind of working on the areas that are less wrinkly first, because that'll pull fabric away from the areas that require the most attention. So here's one of those problem spots. We're gonna go really slow there and let that fabric move out ahead. Move out of the way of our needle so we don't end up creasing it. I'm gonna put another little leaf there. This is one little problem spot. We're going to go really slow. And by slowing down, it gives the fabric a chance to get out of the way. Now, I think that's about the best I can do with this. There's one little spot that I'm not crazy about, but I think overall it's going to be okay. So I'm going to pull the basting out and then I'll show you what it looks like up close. Be right back. out of it from the basting. The steam helps to do that. So there's one tiny little spot there that it's not a crease but it's a little lumpy but it's not bad. 
It's about the best I think I can do with that. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I did add a little bit more quilting just in here. There's something black on that, but it's not attached. It's just a fluffy. So that's how we deal with that. Now, when you look here at this road, that's pretty puffy, and I'll be doing a little bit of quilting on that, and that'll help. That'll help with that as well. And then all of the quilting on the houses is all ruler work, and there's quite a bit, so that'll help uh, bring all this under control. And it's only that one little spot in this quilt. The rest of the quilt is nice and flat. You can see the middle medallion's nice and flat. Everything else is nice and flat. So it's just this one spot that needed to be dealt with. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. This tree shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's got a little extra fabric, but not much. So we'll get that worked in. We'll probably base that one again. Base that one as well. Oh, you can't see what I'm talking about. Hang on. Doop. Yeah. So this, I'm talking about this tree right here. So that one's a not too bad. So that one we should be able to work out, work through pretty well. Um, so
So here is what's left of the quilting that we did in that spot that was quite full. So this is the tree that we had to baste first before we quilted. It's not too bad. It's got a little spot in it, but... And then here's a second tree and I did baste this one as well before I quilted it. But that is all the problem area dealt with. So just by taking your time and doing a little bit of basting, you can make it look pretty good. Hope you're all having a great day. Bye.